Hello everybody. I've been hard at work on the LiPo locker and uh, I really need to take a break. I've been feeling the need to build something. So I have a couple of molds down there drying I can't use for a day or two. So I uh, decided to make a IFO. If you've ever seen the IFO, it's kind of a flying kite basically with rudder and uh, elevator. And uh, it's, it's your basic indestructible plane. It's all carbon fiber with uh, nylon material over it. So these are the plans. And uh, you can get these from you can get these from WildRC.com. I uh, highly recommend it. It's a really cool plane. I've never flown it. I've, I've seen it flown a couple times. It just looks like a lot of fun to fly. It's very it's very lightweight, acrobatic. It uses a small geared motor. So looking over what I have, the materials I have, and I have just about everything I need except for some carbon fiber, but I have uh, two or three of these little motors. I have um, one of these on my Easy Star. It's like a 400 size motor for a replacement for a, for a brushed motor. Uh, it's a brushless um, motor that almost fits into the slot of a 400 motor. It's a little bit larger. So I had to do a little modification on the gear drive. I'm putting it on a gear drive, and I have two or three of these left over and um, different uh, gear ratios. First thing I did was I set, took my plans, took a good look at them, and then set them aside. <laughs> because what I'm doing is um, a couple of modifications. One is that uh, I always thought it would be kind of neat to do one that had uh, elevons instead of uh, elevator and uh, rudder. And I'm still going to actually add a rudder, but I'm going to do it in the front. And it's mostly going to be for steering for takeoff and landing, but I'm sure it will come in handy to do some you know, different maneuvers. And uh, the other change that I made, obviously because the motor is about twice as big as the motor would normally be on this plane. So I took the basic dimensions and I multiplied them times 1.5. For the main structure of the wing, I took two pieces of 40 inch long carbon fiber and it's 0.057 by 0.177. That comes 40 inch length so I just overlapped it about uh, 3 inches or so. And like all of the connections on this plane I used carpet thread with CA. I made four small hinges using nylon tube. And the red tube fits right over the trailing edge of the wing, and the yellow tube is the same diameter as the carbon fiber that I used for the elevons. Put a small piece of heat shrink tubing on the end of the trailing edge, and use that really just to hold, to hold the thread so it, I could get a grip to wrap the flat stock onto the end of it. After I put a little bit of thread and CA to hold it in place, I went ahead and gave it a nice uh, tight wrap and uh, more CA and uh, activator. Now when I got to the second side, I wised up and I put the thread through the uh, small piece of heat shrink tubing. And uh, that made a lot more sense. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you're building by the seat of your pants, sometimes you don't uh, use your common sense the whole time. And like a lot of my builds, there's uh, <laughs> a lot of modification. Uh, it's just part of the fun for me, so I'm not really sure how this is going to fly, but I'm leaving my options open so I can uh, turn it back into the stock uh, version. After I modded my motor, I used uh, the carbon fiber rod for the leading edge of the wing. And just like all the other connections, it's uh, CA'd. 
And in the back, once again, I thought of something to make it a little easier. I put small notches in the wood, and that gave the thread something to hold on to. Made it a lot easier to wrap it on. And at this point, the tube in the middle that I'm attaching it to is still sliding back and forth. Uh, that's so I can set, make sure it's nice and squared and centered before I actually glue it down. This is the front leading edge of the wing. This is the rudder that I made, and somehow I didn't film when I made the rudder, but it's actually kind of cool. It's the thin, flat stock, and it's just sort of bent around, and uh, there are some threads on there also to, to reinforce it, to keep it square. And I just put it through a piece of nylon tube through the, through the wood uh, fuselage, and put a little piece of heat shrink on the back with a little bit of CA, and then a small piece of tube over top of it. When I attached my landing gear, my rear wheels of the, the trike setup, I decided to put vertical stabilizers, actually small vertical stabilizers, uh, on each end. And again, I used the flat, thin stock and then reinforced the leading edge of it with a piece of uh, regular carbon fiber tubing. And my rear wheels are just uh, the lightweight plastic wheels on a piece of music wire in the shape of a U and it's uh, attached on with a thread and the CA onto the re reinforcing rod that I used in the leading edge of the stabilizer. And here's my rudder and steering mechanism. Uh, actually, it came out pretty nice. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. This is, uh, like a lot of my builds, it's kind of an experiment. But uh, uh, again, if it doesn't work, I can easily change this back to the stock version with rudder and elevator. Here's a better look at the my modified uh, IFO. And I have it ready for uh, servos and electronics. and. Uh, and the vinyl covering will be next. Uh, I'll finish this up probably tomorrow morning. And uh, weather permitting, give it a test flight. Mm. We'll see what happens.